Yo, I knew you'd come. Welcome back, everybody. You know who it is, the real one, always 100, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club, coming to you guys with a MLB main slate video. Sorry I didn't do one yesterday. Um, busy, busy doing NFL stuff. So um, hope you guys cast. Um, it was kind of a crazy week one, right? A lot of no names did stuff. A lot of the studs did absolutely nothing. Uh, Eagles, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully you guys weathered the storm. Um, you know, we did the DFS club, my cash uh, lineups on DraftKings uh, cash. And then I had a uh, GBP in the million maker. I only put in like three entries because I don't do, you know, the multi multi entries. I got a, over 200 fantasy points. So cash really nicely, really nicely there. Just Vandal, I missed barely, but missing is missing. So. Did pretty good. Cannot complain. Um, guys, if you want lineups, especially for the NFL season, especially for the MLB season, www.dfsclub.com. I'm posting ownership, projections. Um, I'll start doing cheat sheets this week. I just didn't have time this week. Um, so I do cheat sheets for every single sport, guys. Everything. M MLB, I do them every single day. You get Every single sport, NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, eSports, MMA, WNBA, college sports. Click join now. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. And you know the drill, guys. We are the cheapest in the business. And it's not even close. Not even close. So come check us out, guys. We'd love to have you. The community keeps growing by the day. It's 24-7. We got sports like KBO overnight, esports overnight. It's just nonstop because we won't stop and we can't stop. So come check us out, www.dfsclub.com. And no, I did not get a haircut. They're still closed. I just haven't slicked back, all right? I put a bunch of leave-in conditioner in because I got nappy-ass hair. So I, I can't put, like, gel or shit. So I just slicked it back, all right? So in case you were wondering, all right, so it's time to give away some stuff. It's that time, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, and if you haven't checked out, I did a video regarding uh, players kneeling on 9-11. And I cannot believe the views it's getting right now. Holy crap. I appreciate it. Um, you guys are the best. The absolute best. So, go check it out if you haven't. What else is going on this week? So, we got another week of NFL coming up. So. NBA is just basically a showdown. So for the contest this week, I'll be giving doing a giveaway for my NFL video. I'll probably do some showdown videos. I'll do one for Monday Night Football. And then uh, for the around Thursday or Friday, I'll drop my NFL video for the week. And then we'll do a, a giveaway for the MLB and MLB. So MLB will be the free one month M, um, DFS club membership. And then the NFL videos will be free $25 PayPal. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. You have to be a subscriber to be eligible. All right, y'all. So it is time to give away. We're going to give away two prizes. So first one's going to be the $25 free PayPal. It's brought to you by myself, Skywalker DFS. Let's go. All right. So good luck. Let's go. Drum roll, please. Schroeder sleeping, but I'm gonna wake him up. Who's it gonna be? Dree Dree Drizzy is our winner. He says Giannis will go to Portland. So the question was, if Giannis leaves, where do you think he's gonna go? So Dree Dizzy, congratulations, my man or woman. I don't know what you are, but you won $25 PayPal sponsored by myself, Skywalker DFS. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on my email, skywalkerdfs at gmail.com. Congratulations, Street Dizzy. Thanks for supporting the channel, man. I love doing these giveaways. So make sure you hit me up. And if you didn't win this week, don't you dare be sour because we're going to do it again next week. Um, and we're still going to do one more drawing. We're going to give away a one, one month membership to the DFS club right now. And look at this. Look who just appeared out of nowhere. It's the magical one. 
He traveled through all space and time. Schroeder Skywalker. He's going to help us give it away this free one month DFS club membership. All right, Schroeder, are you ready? Let's do the drum roll. All right, so Schroeder's going to click the button and let's see who wins this one month membership. All right, buddy. All right, here we go. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? Who's going to win the one month free membership? Tom Winwood. He said he's going to go with the Dodger stack. Congratulations to Tom Winwood. Again, hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on my email, skywalkerdfs.com. Schroeder and I wish you congratulations. You won a free one month club to the DFS club. One month membership to the DFS club. My God. So Schroeder will be back for Schroeder's picks where he gives you his three home run calls. So congratulations. And if you didn't win, don't you dare be sour because we're going to keep doing this every single week. So the more you view, the more you comment, the better chance you have to win. Congratulations to the winners. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys. The game show's over with. Tune in next week. All right. And I will tell you later in the video. I'm not going to tell you when, but I'll tell you later in the video how you qualify for a free one month DFS club membership. And make sure you tune in my NFL videos because we'll be giving away that. $25 PayPal, all right? No more NBA videos for me. No more. All right, at least this season. I'm not doing them. Um, all right, so let's go to the position optimizer on Draft Dashboard here. By the way, Draft Dashboard is only $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below, and you yourself can have Draft Dashboard, guys. This exact tool that I'm using right here. So let's start off with Pitcher. We have a 7-gamer. If you go to Fandle, it's weird. It's only like a, yeah, Fandle's doing... A uh, three game main and a three day, so, sorry, you got a, yeah, a three day main slate and then a three game uh, morning slate. So there must be a bunch of like uh, double hitters tomorrow. So make sure you're aware of that. So top option, we got Trevor Bauer. So they have two Reds pitchers on here, which makes me think there's probably a double hitter. But I looked it up um, on the MLB website and it said Trevor Bauer is going to be the pitcher. So I'll go from that. So, he's going up against Pittsburgh, guys. 10-8. You got to get him in there. Coming off a phenomenal outing with 39 fantasy points. Last time he bit against Pittsburgh, he got 21 fantasy points. He's the same price on FanDuel. 10.8K, which is not bad, especially on FanDuel. Trevor Bauer. Get him in there. Next up, you can go Lament. I'd probably try and get to Bauer instead, but if you want to be contrarian or for, you know, those night lineups that, you know, the night slates, he's okay. There's a couple Dodgers that do do well against him, but it's not like a majority of them. But he's okay, especially more for a night slate, guys. Main slate, I would really try to get to Trevor Bauer. Uh, Jose Barrios at 9-3 is okay also. If you want to pay up for pitching on this slate, you can do both. Um, the only thing is he's playing the White Sox, who are red hot right now. But so is Barrios. 22, 28, 12, 34, 10 in his last five. Last time he pitched against the Sox, he got 28 fantasy points. That's crazy. That's 28 DraftKings fantasy points. FanDuel, that's what, like almost 60? So, Jose Barrios, get him in there. Then we got Marco Gonzalez at 7K against the Oakland Athletics. The A's aren't really known for home runs this year. They're just hitting a bunch of base hits. But... Look what he's been doing for 7K, 27, 38, 14, 29. Last time against Oakland, he got 17. So, again, if you want to throw this, I don't it should be a night slate game. If you want to start there or even the main slate, Marco Gonzalez is definitely in play at 7K. All right, and if you want to punt at pitcher, you got Vince Velasquez here at 6.3K. 6.3K, coming off a 21 fantasy point game, 6, 13, Minus two and 15. Last time he gets to Marlins, he got three. So it's a risk, right? But 6.3K, you only need like 10 or more fantasy points for him to get you there. And then you got Muskrat at 5.9K. That's cheaper than Mike Trout. Going up against, um, I think, I got to look that up too. Maybe it's the second part of the doubleheader um, against the Reds. So I got to look, guys. I apologize. But if he's in. If you want to punt him at 5'9", definitely not a bad, but it's always risky with these low-priced pitchers. 
All right, so let's go to catcher real quick. I just wanted to point out Ryan Jeffers is a great value at 2.7K tomorrow. Um, $200 less on FanDuel. He's just been crushing it, guys. 18-0, 14-7, and 19. He's only 2.7K. And no, this is not Yasmani Grandal. This is Ryan Jeffers. Going up against a righty, too. He crushes righties. So, he'll probably be in all my lineups as catcher. I really couldn't find anything. Normally, I punt at catcher, but I don't think it's necessary. And how about that Coors Field Series? What a dud. What a freaking dud. I'm not, you know what? I'd make a vow to you guys today and to the club, DFS club. I'm not chasing those course field games anymore. They have not been, I don't know what happened. It's like, they're not the course field games we all know and love. So they're like two, two to three to two ball games every time. And we're paying those extra salaries just to get it. So I don't care how high owned it is. I'm going to pivot off of it. It, they had they had the damn uh, Angels. They had Mike Trout. They had everybody there, and they still couldn't get more than three runs. Just insane. All right, so first baseman, Freddie. I ain't shit, Freeman. He's 5.5K. Liking a little Atlanta stack here. He's facing a righty. He crushes righties. His OPS versus righties is over 1,000. Going up versus Lopez. Get yourself some Freddie ain't shit, Freeman at 5.5K. $1,200 less on Fandle. Next up, Jesus Aguilar in this white hot. I never say that, never thought I'd say this this season, too. White hot Florida Marlins freaking offense. They're scoring a ton of runs. He's 3.8K. He's been doing it. 16, 26 in his last two. Going up versus Velazquez. He's two for three. Batting 667, one home run, one double. And for him, righty, lefty, he doesn't care. He'll hit them both. The OPS is about the same, so Jesus Aguilar, get him in there at 3.8K. Next set, we got Goldie. We got Paul Goldschmidt at 5.1K. Going up against Mr. Burns, Homer Simpson's boss. He's 3 for 6 with a 500 batting average. One single, one double, one home run. Get yourself some Goldie. It says he's 3,900 or more on FanDuel, but I really think that's an error. <laughs> Ain't no damn way he's that much on FanDuel. So I'll just bypass that. 8K player on FanDuel. That'll be the day. All right, let's go to second base. All right. Creston Herrera going up versus a righty. Hasn't been doing too well his last three, four games. He's due. He crushes righties. I always play him against righties, guys. Get him in there. Yeah, last five games. So he's due. He's definitely going to get one tomorrow, guys. Christian Herrera against a righty. Get him in there. Versus Ponce, state of the own. Sound like some goddamn French dude. All right, so next up, Ozzy Albies is only 4-4. Why he bats ninth, I don't know. He's been absolutely devastating. 20, 10, 22, 0, 31 in his last five. And he's going up versus a righty. He crushes righties, guys. So Ozzy Albies, get him in there at 4-4. $700 cheaper on Fandle. Next up, Colton Wong, 4-8. So I'm seeing a little St. Louis stack here. Um, going up versus Mr. Burns. He's 3-4, for four, batting 750. Colton Wong can hit home runs. He's just, for some reason, I don't know if he's off the juice or what, but he's not doing it this year. So he'll get you a bunch of singles, doubles. Um, does lead off, and St. Louis has been doing well. Now, the only concern, they're playing so many double headers from all those games they missed from Kobe. Um, these players might be a little tired, but they're not playing like it. So, St. Louis is scoring a bunch of runs. Get yourself some Colton Wong at 4.8K. Says he's $1,200 more on FanDuel, but no. Nah. Draft dashboard is tripping today. <laughs> Maybe, hopefully, it'll, it'll update overnight. So, let's go to third base. All right, so we got Manny Machado here at 5.5K. Going up versus a lefty, and even going up against Kershaw. He's 5 for 16, batting 312. Three singles, two home runs. People might be might not roster him just because, oh, my God, he's facing Kershaw. But they don't know these things, ladies and gentlemen. They don't know these things. They don't know he's batting 312 and has two home runs off him. So Manny Machado, and he's having a great season. Get him in there. We already went over Carp. All right. 
So let's go to short stop because we won't stop and we can't stop. We got some Tatis. Yes, it's time to pull the trigger on some Tatis. 5.6K against Kershaw. Three for five. 600 batting average. He crushes lefties. I don't care who's on the mound. If they're a lefty, Tatis is going to get him. Again, he's batting 600 off of Kershaw. 5-6, get him in there. They could price him up to 6K, but thank God they didn't. He is, well, I'm not going to give you the fan bill prices. For some reason, they're not accurate tonight on Draft Dashboard. All right, so next up, we got Chris Taylor. 4.4K. Look what he's been doing, guys. Every time I play any Dodger, I don't care who it is, Freaking anybody can come out of retirement and be a Dodger. And if I put them in my fantasy lineup, they don't do shit. So I give the Dodgers hell in the in the DFS club when I'm talking to the, the members. They all know how I feel. But look what he's been doing, guys. 28, 19, 10, 13 in his last four. And he has a plus matchup. If I can bring it up there. Versus Lamette, two for six, batting 333. One single, one home run. And he's batting seventh. So he's only 4-4. Four, four. Get him in there, guys. Chris Taylor. All right. Yeah, I cringe whenever I, I roster a Dodger. It just never works out for me. Nothing against the Dodgers. It's just it never works out for me, guys. All right, let's go to outfield. So we got Ronald Acuna Matata. 6K. See what I mean? So he's priced as much as one of those low, low-level pitchers. But he's going up against a righty. Atlanta scores like 10 runs a game, it seems like. But... Whenever Acuna faces a righty pitcher, I always roster him, guys. Get him in there. 6K on DraftKings. Next up, Nelson Cruz, 5.3K. I just wish he was hitting more home runs this year. But he, that just means he's going to go for a home run explosion, right? Going up versus Cease and, and assist. Look at that. Three for four, batting 750, guys. Nelson Cruz at 5.3K. Get him in there. Duvall, sound like a goddamn Oscar award-winning actor here. Adam Duvall. Little Atlanta stack, little St. Louis stack. You see where I'm going here, ladies and gentlemen? Versus Lopez, he's perfect. Two for two, batting with two doubles. 4.5K. And only bats at the end of the lineup, which, again, I don't get, but I'm not, I'm not the manager. Get him in there, guys. I mean, it's only 4.5. Put him, Albies, freaking Akuna Matata with some Goldie, some Wong. You got yourself a lineup. All right. We got Shogo, guys. Shogo keeps doing it. He's 2.2K. He doesn't get home runs, but he gets on base a lot. He walks a lot. He gets a lot of base hits. Fandle, he's great. Fandle, he gets like 16 to 20 fantasy points. It seems like every single game. And against Muskrat, he's one for two with a double. And he's facing a righty. Shogo, the best kept secret, I think, in baseball right now. Get him in there at 2.2K, guys. Uh, Matt Joyce, little, little Marlins here. A couple Marlins I got for you. He's bare men, 2K. Against Velasquez, who's a righty. Matt Joyce crushes righties. He's two, sorry, three for five. That's a 600 batting average. Two singles, one home run. I know Matt Joyce is about 55 years old. Get him in there at bare minimal, guys. Look at that. My goodness. One thing you get from my videos is good value, you guys. Then you got Jock Peterson, another Dodger. I'm cringing, right? I'm cringing, but hear me out. He's only 3.2K. Versus Lamette. Jock Peterson crushes righties. He's three for seven, batting 429. And out of those three hits, Two of them have been home runs. So Jock Peterson at 3.2K, get him in there. I don't know about you guys, man, but I've been crushing it on DraftKings. You guys, you should see how much money I've won over the last two weeks. It's amazing. FanDuel, I've been doing, I've been struggling a little bit. I'm not going to lie on FanDuel. The last couple of weeks haven't been good to me, but DraftKings has been great. I cannot explain it. It seems like I play the same players on both, but. Then again, sometimes I don't because the pricing is so much different. So on today's video, for the giveaway, make sure you subscribe. Thumbs up. We got to get some thumbs up, some thumbs downs, right? We've been lacking in that area. 
I get the views, I get I get the subscribers, but I need those thumbs ups or thumbs downs. Um, and in the comments below, to qualify for the free one month DFS club membership, in the comments down below, I want to know what have you had more luck on this season, DraftKings or FanDuel? Let me know in the comments below, and you will be answered in the drawing for that free one month DFS club membership guys that's it it's that simple this is what we do on the show we give away free stuff this is my way of saying thank you guys for tuning in um and that's it for the picks but this is the best part of the video guys it's time for my favorite part and your favorite part it's time for the greatest showman i love that movie by the way schroeder skywalker it is time for schroeder's picks so Schroeder's going to give us his three home run calls, guys. I'm going to grab this little rascal, and let's go. And then, boom, you see, out of nowhere, Schroeder travels through all space and time. And all right, Schroeder. All right, let's get comfortable. So who's your first home run call? Who do you got for everybody? We want to win that bread. Who do you got as your first one? Go ahead and take a look. Oh, you already know? Oh, you've been thinking about him all day? You've been studying? Wow, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Schroeder's first home run call is none other than, he says, Tatis, Tatis. So Schroeder's first home run call is Tatis. I like it. I like it, dude. All right, Schroeder. Who do you got for the second home run call? Who's going to get us another one? Who do you got? Oh, okay. Wonderful, Schroeder. I like that one, too. I, we're on the same page tonight. We're not always on the same page, but he, I'm telling you, you guys, if you're new, take his picks to the bank. So Schroeder's second home run call is none other than Chris Taylor from the Dodgers. All right, dude. So Schroeder, this is where we really need you. Who's going to break the slate? Who's going to get us those two home runs? Who do you got, Schroeder? Take a look. <laughs> All right, who do you got? Ah, is it because he was in the Lion King? Maybe, I don't know. Schroeder says his two home run calls, none other than Ronald Acuna Matata. And that's going to do it. That's it for Schroeder's Picks. Trending on Twitter worldwide. Hashtag Schroeder's Picks. Thank you guys so much. We try and have some fun on here, all right? Um, what was I going to say? Yeah. So no more NBA for me. Some things have to change over there. And I'll just keep it at that because it's not that type of video. Um, but NFL, MLB, let's go. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you enter that contest. And I'm going to say a prayer for everybody like we always do. Because Schroeder and I love everybody. That's right. Everybody. All right, y'all. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your pets. God bless your neighbors. God bless your loved ones. God bless your friends. Yo, where we go one, we go all. Keep fighting the good fight. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. Absolutely nobody. Stand your ground. Be yourself. And you'll just get much further in life, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I love each and every one of you 100%. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you guys. Take care.